Thank you very much, Mr. President. As we know, the opioid crisis continues uh, through this country, and New York State is no exception. Overdose death is particularly pernicious uh, during this pandemic. People are particularly vulnerable when they leave certain congregate care settings, for instance, treatment, uh, for instance, a correctional facility, when they leave an emergency room for an overdose. Um, we want to save those people's lives. This is about meeting people where they are and saving their lives. If someone's been in a correctional setting or they've been in treatment for a period of time, they may come out and their craving is still there, but their tolerance has weakened, and that's why they're particularly susceptible to overdose and overdose death. So this legislation uh, will address that in that everybody who's discharged from one of those three settings uh, will go home with specific information, educating them about overdose, the risks associated overdose, and most importantly, with naloxone or Narcan, which is an opioid antagonist, which is life-saving, along with a further prescription. So this body has responded in a bipartisan way time and time again. I'm proud that colleagues will be joining on this bill as we continue to address the opioid crisis and try to save lives. I will be voting aye. Thank you, Mr. President.